Hello everybody and welcome to an extra special Total Annihilation replay today. Um, this is going to be our first ever uh, Total Annihilation Escalation. So I'm really excited to be able to introduce this to you guys if you haven't ever taken a look at this. Uh, this is a mod by, uh, by Wotan. Um, who's been working on this for a very, very long time. This is a bit of a, a project that's near and dear to his heart, of course. Um, and he has put uh, a lot of time into it. Uh, also with uh, TRO as well, I believe. But he's done a lot of the modeling work. Um, well, then you will absolutely have to correct me if I am wrong. So we can uh, we can put it in the description about who's done that kind of work. Um, plus, he's got a good team of guys who have been really helping him uh, balance here to balance it um, to make it into a uh, a competitive uh, competitive mod as well. So. Uh, what I've got for you here for you today is a two versus two on a map called Green Aces. This is one of the V maps in uh, uh, Venom's uh, map pack. Um, so on the top left here we have the uh, the king of escalation, the man to beat, Mr. Harold himself, the Norwegian prince. Um, <clears throat> and top right helping him out, we have uh, Dirty Harry. Um, and then uh, who's another good uh, escalation player? Uh, bottom right, we have Executrix, or I'm just going to call him X. Um, and bottom left, we have uh, Nemtudam, um, who is also another esca excellent um, Escalation player. Uh, so we got a fast vehicle here from X, and uh, Nem's continuing to build uh, and walk his commander. Um, top left, you can see this appears to be the uh, the standard build here. Now in um, Escalation, uh, Energy is a really big, big draw. Like, uh, stuff costs a lot of energy. So the solars produce a little bit more as well. So each of these solars produces 25. Um, so they're actually going air first here. Harry's going to be building uh, what appears to be a, uh, I'm willing to bet, a bomber to go ahead and, and quickly drop some bombs. Uh, and at Escalation, unlike OTA, uh, KBOT first is viable. Now, this is the 9.4 patch, which was recently released. Um, Wotan and the testers and everybody put a lot of work into this to try and make this uh, one of the best uh, Escalation releases yet. And hopefully, uh, they've done a pretty good job with that. Um, so, I haven't heard too many complaints, although uh, I personally haven't had a chance um, to, uh, to give it a shot. So you can see how Escalation plays looks quite similar to Total Annihilation at this point, as far as you know, you build a con, you expand. Um, here you can see uh, the difference in the commander models. Um, Arm has got this neat little uh, double backpack there, with uh, you know, which has also had an OTA. However, it's a little bit uh, uh, sharper model there. It looks like Harry's just standing here, but he is guarding that bomber out. You can see how these, his energy is dropping over here. Uh, the right Harold's uh, sharing with him as well. I'm going to say about a two-minute bomber, which is about, uh, which is a little slower than you expect in uh, an OTA. Now, one of the things you'll notice here is that um, Harry dropped this missile tower in Escalation. Commanders can build missile towers, um, so you don't need a con out to be able to do that. So you see, he builds a scout, and then he sends out his arm thunder. Objective here, of course, is they're going to do some scouting because missile towers aren't as prevalent uh, for ground defense because they do not shoot at ground. Um, well, people don't tend to have them as quickly. So that bomber comes through and knocks out three metal extractors with, uh, well, really uh, no damage. X wonders how. Nice run by Harry there. And the bomber gets way clean. Very nice run. X isn't very happy about that, uh, that air first there, it seems. Um, but you can also see here, um, the territory control is definitely in favor of, uh, of the bottom team at this point of uh, uh, X and them. Uh, although here comes uh, Her uh, Harold's Jeffy Rush. Oh, that's right. Okay, so a 9-4 missile towers can shoot at ground now, but you can see it's not doing that much damage. It's not like a two-shot kind of thing. So they're primarily for anti-air, but they will stop these short little breakthroughs that can, that can happen.
see a little bit of different uh, graphical effects here when the lasers are hitting uh, than an OTA. Those are some updated stuff that you'll find in Escalation. He's got some slashers out. Trying to solve his Jeffy problem. X return in the favor. Hello, Harold's pretty good. He's got the Raider up. He knows that those Raiders are there. Flash is a K. That's not something you see every day in, in, uh, in OTA, um, but that's not an uncommon occurrence here in Escalation Land. I'll go ahead and I'll speed this up here. Nope. That's... Um, <laughs> there we go. So uh, Harold's doing a really good job here of controlling Nem's, uh, Nem's raiding forces. Well, you get a big enough pack of AKs and they can do some damage. X does a nice job really controlling the, uh, the expansion. Have it now. This is more than enough flashes being fielded by Harold here to take down these AKs. So Nem really gets nothing for this raid here. Uh, light laser towers have a uh, longer range and are cheaper than uh, their uh, OTA counterparts, so they actually are pretty good point defense here, especially against uh, the light raiders. AKs are still dirt, dirt cheap in Escalation, so the thing about them is you can build a lot of them and send them everywhere. And at this point, Nam has switched to building, pushing out some storms. And you see, by splitting up here, Nam's actually able to score a few metal extractors. Harry's bomber goes down, not before it takes out a few more metal extractors. Nice little run here by Nam. See storm missiles shoot a little faster. You can also see the different explosion effects they've got here. That one pesky AK got through. Harold comes to clean it up. That con survives. So AKs really don't have good armor, but they do deliver a decent punch. So you can see how they just get blown up real quick when, they get, when they're getting shot, but they've got the firepower when there's enough of them. I gotta say, I do like the missile tower, the, uh, the missile change. Uh, me being an OTA guy, I like seeing everybody shooting at everything. Yeah, they don't do that much damage, but they'll at least take out a weakened unit. Now I'm pushing with storms, and it really looks like Harold here is controlling the territory with his pack of flashes. Harry kind of riding that Harold wave there. As X has come in to help protect his ally. In come Max's Gators. Yeah, they really did a, a good job of bringing the uh, the Gators into balance um, with flashes. Um, I know that was a uh, something that, that Venom worked on, um, and then with a bunch of other people. Just really trying to make it so that um, gators and flashes um, actually are, are evenly matched because there's a lot of different variables that go into it, like whether or not they miss, um, their rate of fire, that kind of thing. And our Herald up with that, like just about everybody. <laughs> X, Diox. Lots of guys put a lot of time into this. <laughs> Alright. I'm 
watching the battle here and I'm missing some of the exciting stuff in the background. You can see here Harold's dropped three vehicle plants and he keeps pumping out flashes with them. Uh, but he's also move, putting out an advanced vehicle plan as well. He's planning on going T2. T2 in Escalation is quite different than T2 in uh, OTA. Uh, primarily in OTA, you'd go Tech 2 uh, and advanced, mostly just to build your fusions and your economy up. Um, whereas you'd still have your forces primarily be made out of Tech 1 units. Whereas in Escalation, getting that T2 factory is really important because T2 units are quite good. You get a, a decent amount of of uh, firepower for, uh, for what you pay for. You can see that uh, X here is fielding a leveler. Um, big time damage comes out of these guys and they've got a, a rapid fire riot cannon. Not as big of an explosion as they have. There you go, you can see some of them in action right here. You see just a few shots and they're blowing the flashes to pieces. They are quite a bit more expensive. That big explosion down there that I missed, that was a Geo. Geos blow up big, and I wish I actually had caught that because you got to see, you get to see the, uh, the different graphics that they've got on it. Now, big old pack of flashes, some storms, and some gators. A mix of units is generally going to perform well. Um, good job by Harry here. You can see he's taking advantage of these wrecks. He's coming out cleaning them up with his aircon, which is now idle. I spoke far too soon. Here come the T2 units. Here you can see we've got the Panthers. They are fast, uh, and they are tough. You can see Nem is also working on his uh, his T2 right here. And X just finished his. Diax is lagging behind in the vehicle uh, department, but he is, well, he started building a T2 air, but it looks like he's decided he wants, doesn't want to do that. X is pumping out a Reaper. Panther's just got too much speed. It looks like he's going to get away with that con. Big old pack of flashes coming in. Now he's starting to push out that, uh, that con. See right here, this is an upgraded geothermal. It's got a riot cannon on top of it, so it can provide a little bit of point defense for itself. Here we have Pyros and Reapers going to play, two units that you will never see in an OTA game. Nice job by Nem here, he's trying to, uh, trying to control those. Uh, he is definitely under pressure and definitely is way far behind uh, Harold at this point. He's also reclaiming his, uh, his T1 there. He wants enough metal to push out enough units to try and defend himself. X has got the big beef up against uh, Harry's less than big beef. We'll see what these Reapers do to these Flashes. Not much, because the Flashes get away. Looks like X might be trying to uh, push his tech advantage here. It's a heavy laser tower shooting down those pyres as they're coming in. Riot tanks just blowing apart the flashes that get a little too close. See the extended range of heavy laser towers? Relative to OTA. Oh, poor Nam, it looks like this one con is not going to get away. Dirty Harry's gone. T2 air. You can see how these riot tanks are going to try and shoot that down. Bulldogs. Yeah, 
and the light laser tower and dragon teeth wall that was put up by uh, by Harold just seems to be more than enough. So you can see how the brawlers are taking some hits from the tanks, but overall their little uh, back and forth sweeping is going to be more than enough to protect them. You can see they're also upgrading, building some Moho metal extractors. Uh, they are significantly cheaper in Escalation than they are in um, OTA, uh, making them a big part of boosting your economy, especially especially on this map, where there are some of the are some of these double metal extractors, um, which are normally built side by side. You can see how uh, Harry did right here, but then you can cover that with a single Moho and still get the full extraction of both of these off of building a single resource unit. Uh, so it's definitely worth it to drop to build those. Uh, this is a new unit right here. This is a Manticore. It's a pretty quick little missile tank. Um, I don't know how they've balanced them uh, relative for this patch off the top of my head, um, but they kind of behave similarly to, uh, to Slashers, uh, except they're quite a bit tougher and faster. Um, so this is a common thing that you see in Escalation here, is just building up the economy. You either reclaim or you self-destruct your existing metal extractors. Uh, and then you just drop more of these. This right here, this is a mechanic. This is one of these new construction units. It builds incredibly fast, um, but it primarily has Tech 1 stuff. So you can see he's dropping down rows of energy. Um, Geo is not quite enough to, uh, to run. You can see he's also building these energy storages. You notice how they change from yellow to blue. In Escalation, when you have two units that are adjacent to one another that uh, have a electric signal next to them, um, and then that means they start producing bonus uh, resources when they are next to one next to one that is of the exact same type. So fusions also receive adjacency bonuses. Little raid by Harry here, very effective. X just doesn't have uh, enough anti-air in the mask. Gunships are quite a bit tougher. Finally brings one down. That is Escalation Flak, a rapid fire, big AOE, bursting damage that quickly shredded up those gunships. You can see how uh, Harold's really boosted his economy at this point. He's at nearly 100 metal. Uh, Nem's at around 70. X is around 25 because he just got raided really, really, really hard. Um, and Dirty Harry's sitting around 30, but it looks like Harold's economy has just exploded. He's starting to push out these incredibly expensive, but really long range penetrators, a uh, massive blue laser for uh, instant sniping of anything that is uh, within its range. Um, Nems pushed out a can as well as uh, these dominators. These dominators, I actually really like playing with these in Escalation. They behave, uh, again, similarly to, uh, to slashers. They got these missiles. I do love the sound on these. That's one of the, uh, one of the cool uh, additions. See how quickly they take down those dragon's teeth? From out of range, they're able to shred the sentinel. You get a big pack of these and they're really tough to approach. Uh, currently, Nem is radar targeting and creeping in with them. Harold, knowing his uh, bulldogs don't have long enough range, he's backing up. Nem sees on radar that the uh, He's closing distance, so he's going to fire and run. And that blue laser coming from across the map, that was the pen. So here, I'll show you what I mean. I pull up my little commander here. You can see how on this energy storage, there is an adjacency bonus. So if I build one regularly, um, it will just give me energy storage. But then if you build two next to each other, then they produce, I believe, um, between two of them, 50 energy. So that's why you see them when they're building them, they're building them close together to take advantage of that adjacency bonus. X going air. Harold really good here about boosting his economy. He's got just about all of his uh, cap with T2. He's sitting around plus 132 at this point. X saying, I feel he shares for T3. They're thinking that Harold is going to go and rush T3. X is suggesting they 2v1 Harry. Rightly assuming that uh, Harold is way ahead on economy. 
Them says there are pens and bulldogs as well. So he's creeping in with radar. One single shot takes out that light laser tower. These aren't cheap. I want to say they're around 3,000 metal or so. But with Harold's crazy big economy, that's, that's not a big ask. Terry trying to do a little scouting there. X off screen some scouts. He finds the T2 labs. He doesn't see any T3 at this point. Here we go. Nem's trying to get up on these, and you can see the pyros get in range, and they just start torching it. Down it goes. Sumos. Now, Sumos are a beast of units in escalation. You've got these massive blue laser. They've de redid the model on it. Um, and so they do quite a bit of damage from distance. You see, it just took that shot from the pen, doing just fine. But Harold is pushing in with his big old bulldog force. Nems brought his force down here. The cans are still beefy. They can take quite a bit of punishment. We got a Mantis. This is the anti-air uh, anti T2K bot. You can see how all those Bulldogs were turned back by the force of the Dominators as well as the Sumos. Here we go. You get to see the Manticores in action here. I don't think that was a good move by X right there. That's not a, not a good unit control. You want to keep these a little bit further back. They're not meant to be face tanks. Income shooters. These are sniper K-Bots. They've got long range. You can see X is using artillery. I believe these guys have a little shield on them. They also got a radar jamming a radar jamming unit with them as well. So you can see though, it looks like they're definitely getting pushed back out of the bottom side, relative to the top side. And here goes a bombing run. You see the shooters are actually hitting the shadows. You just use them to do a little damage to the shooters. Maybe not the best use of shadows. You see they're both flying scouts over. There are um, radar jamming towers that you can build uh, from T2. I don't know if they if they have one I could show you right here. Um, that explains why you can see they're both just peeper streaming to give themselves constant line of sight, at least on the front lines that I know so that nothing's really gonna creep up on them. We've got some Fidos being pushed out by Harry right here. here. These are uh, quite a bit different in this game. They are direct fire in OTA. However, in Escalation, you can see they just kind of do the spray indirect artillery fire. Really good range. You get a big pack of them like this. And they do quite a bit of damage. Nem's bringing his sumos up to the front, chasing back these pens with his pyros. Good use by Harry of his phytos here, keeping him just in range and out of harm's way. Cleans up that attack force. This is the arm upgrade to the geothermal power plant. It's got these missiles that it can launch. And the attacking forces of X were knocked down, and now his artillery, which is actually really long range in this game. It's not accurate, but you get enough of them again, they just start to wipe out stuff. He's got to run him back. He has to retreat. This is a toaster. Actually, I guess it's called a Punisher, because I think that is just an upgraded Punisher. So when you upgrade, your Punishers, 
gives it longer range and gets it to fire two shots. Um, also gives it makes it a little tougher as well. So each one of these can be upgraded to provide additional firepower. Terry's Fido Force is marching on down in. Harold pushing out Hawks. And he's going T3. This is an experimental vehicle plant. They are very expensive and very deadly. Punisher is doing work. And it looks like the missile towers will probably finish off this attack, the rest of his attack they got through. Still, there's a big hole blown down uh, X's right side. See how fast just a big pack of sumo shred stuff. Putting out fusions, still cranking out sumos. Looks like he wants that to be his mainstay. Using the cans for line of sight. He's got the Hawks. These are primarily anti-air in this game, they're, so they're not the uh, end-all, be-all ground strikes um, that you see in OTA. So yeah, one of the things to, that I got a comment about uh, Escalation is it is uh, it's definitely not TA in the way it plays. Um, and TA, you generally just want to build more. In Escalation, you want to build bigger. You want to build bigger and better. X put out these really fast uh, flame tanks here. Uh, they're called blazes, and they are uh, very fast. And it looks like what he's trying to do here, they're not particularly strong, it looks like he's just trying to break in and do some damage with them. Takes out a con, torches the sentinel, See the sumo here shooting at that penetrator. And it looks like the blaze attack uh, was going to be successful. He got through. But he's running into these Zeus's. When Zeus's are super tanky. And it looks like only one makes it to the back half. It's not going to be strong enough. Harry walking his calm down to give it a D-gun. Another Fido bash. And at this point... Harry, uh, Harold's just cranking that economic lead and he's putting out Centurions. They look similar to, uh, to Penetrators, but they're quite a bit different. He's just putting out this research facility. This will give him automatic radar targeting as well as upgrade his commander. Um, I think it does a few other things, but I don't remember them off the top of my head. So uh, you guys will have to correct me in the comments here. Looks like uh, Harold's trying to drop this Guardian to help solve his sumo problem. Yeah, at this point it looks pretty much like it's a done deal. Um, Nem is reclaiming his T2. Oh no, never mind. He's building, he's building sumos. I thought he was pulling it up. The reason why uh, X has stopped this at this point is because fusions are very expensive in this game, and so they take a ton of energy and resources, and he's building them with these mechanics as well. So they take a lot of resources as they build. Here's a Doomsday Machine. You can see how it's pretty long range. Decent rate of fire. Spitting out red laser, green lasers, and blue lasers. X is trying to bring a little bit of firepower over the flame tank. Accidentally torches uh, the DDM. And the Zeus's are quickly taking it down. Down it goes. And here are the Centurions. With the penetrators pushing in, I do not think Namek is going to survive this, at this attack.
The sumos weren't in position for that. Second fusion on its way. You can see how we built them next to each other to get that uh, that bonus. Quickly trying to push out some mana cores. X takes a risk here. He comes up, does some degunning, and gets away with it. Looks like Nem was trying to go T3, but that got quickly taken down. And that sound you're hearing right there, that is the sound of the Centurions. Big force by Harry coming in. He's staying pretty much T2, it looks like. Continuing to build Centurions, dropping yet another experimental vehicle plant. Doesn't look like he's scaling to T3 resources. He's staying all at T2. So there is a mantle extractor, but it's a T3 metal extractor that really boosts your economy. They aren't cheap, though. Centurions get taken down by the Sumos. See how tanky they are. You remember how fast the Bulldogs got taken down by all these Sumos. It's the new Immolator. It's a, it, I don't know why that's folded up. Oh, because it's destroyed. <laughs> Smart by Nem there to target the pens. They are a little bit softer targets. He's just cranking out Centurions. And T2 bombers as well, Phoenixes. See, after he gets a research plan, his commander is now big and beefy. Right there, that's a thousand metal. Now, I believe in Escalation Rex, they're not worth very much. Um, that kind of gives you... Um, it has the effect of making it so a defender has more, has more difficulty uh, porking and just kind of sucking up Rex. But it also means when you're attacking... There's not as much gain from gaining territory because, sure, you won the wreck field, but you didn't really win all that much. That said, though, I mean, a thousand metal here, 950 metal there, they're certainly worth coming down and picking up. It's not like it's nothing, it's not like something to turn your nose up at. We got some Goliaths by X coming in, trying to cover from this giant centurion force that's pushing in. Um, but I'm pretty sure Nem knows the writing's on the wall at this point. He's trying to get his T2 out, uh, T3 out. Hoping he can hold on with sumos in the meantime. X coming in there to cut off reinforcements. He's also pressing in. His commander is cloaked. Nem's going in for a little D-gun. Takes it out. I'm still really in rough shape. Needs to be reclaiming a bit more of these uh, these wrecks at this point, especially if he wants to get that T3 finished. There he goes. Looks like he's got some guys up there. Here come the bombers. Spies a commander. And Nem has been showed the door. And X at this point bows out. The victory goes to the north side. I don't think that was a, that's a big surprise um, for Dirty Harry and of course the Escalation King Harold himself. So um, so that's the, uh, that's the uh, quick look there at Escalation. That doesn't contain all the units that it has. So I certainly encourage you to go and check out the brand new uh, 9.4 release that's come out. Um, and give it a uh, give it a download if you even if you're just not a uh, not an online player if you want something that's really fun uh, for skirmish mode 
Um, I believe they have the AI set up for this. Again, you guys will have to correct me. And if it's not set up right now, then um, when it does get set up, um, we'll make sure to include that in a link in the description here. So that way when you go and you grab the mod uh, and you just want to try and check it out by yourself and build all the cool units, you get to do that as well. Um, so yeah, this is uh, this tends to get played in the evening US time if you want to play some big team games. Uh, also, you can um, somebody needs to dethrone Harold at this. So if you want to uh, to try your crack at it, uh, I understand that he's uh, he's awaiting the uh, the worthy challenger to uh, to knock him off of his throne. Um, so uh, I encourage you to uh, be that guy. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. Oh, you know what? Actually, I, I guess I can do a little bit of housekeeping here. Um, we will probably have a few escalation videos, um, especially as 9-4 moves along. I'll try and pick up a few of these from time to time. I'll still be primarily primarily focusing on OTA um, and going through some of the classic games that, uh, that I've got. But um, coming up tomorrow, uh, we have a very, very exciting um, video for you guys to check out and interview with somebody that you guys um, might be familiar with. Um, so it is uh, really cool to get to do that, and I'm really excited to share it with all you guys. So at this point, make sure you uh, hit that subscribe button and hit the notification as well, so when that interview drops, uh, you're able to come in there and uh, flame me in the comments for not asking all the questions you wanted me to ask. All right, uh, I will catch you guys next time, and I hope you enjoyed the uh, escalation bit here. Take care.